How is the Dallas Cowboys cracking its teeth? Bossy Rex of this event is titled Janet Jackson Humiliated. Uh oh. And Halle Bailey fed up with people talking bad about her child, Halo. Hmm. Okay, let's see what's going on. Let's watch. Okay, you guys. So Halle Bailey says she is fed up with all the backlash and all the criticism that she and her son Halo has been getting now. Ever since Halo has been born, Diddy G has pretty much put Halo in all his videos. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie. It's plenty of times I'm scrolling on TikTok and I see hilarious videos of Diddy G and Halo. Not to mention how Halo has become several memes that are very popular on social media. Because he's making now, that baby Halo meme. Has started I mean, just think about the baby though. What if the baby gets older and the baby is not okay with <laughs> with the memes that are on the internet about them? What if they're embarrassed by them? What if he gets older and he's just like, oh, this is so cringy. Like, why would you, why would you put these images out there? You know, but nobody cares. Apparently, it's all about content and and all of that. That's all. That's all people care about. To get a lot of love, but of course, where there's a lot of love. There's also a lot of hate, and Holly Bailey did a post and delete, and this is what she said. I'm so sick of people thinking it's okay to speak on my career and my child. Leave us alone. I rebuke every negative word on this app, and I hope the people who are so concerned about my life put that energy into themselves. I mean, yes. God will continue to cover and protect my family. Yes, that is the uh, hope, but hope is just that. <laughs> that there's just not that much hope in the world. People are always concerned about what everybody else is doing. They always have an opinion about literally everything that other people are doing, especially when you are in the public. You are a celebrity and, and everything you do is just publicized. And your child is everywhere. <laughs> I've seen this baby more than any other baby. I can't think of another celebrity baby that I've seen more um, recently th than this child. So your, your man is plastering this baby everywhere so that might be step one is to stop doing that if you are tired of people speaking on your child maybe just just maybe stop putting your child out there for the world to see i don't know how many times i gotta keep saying this so i'm not gonna keep beating a dead horse but i say this every time and of course, the hope is that people shouldn't be speaking negatively of, on a baby. People shouldn't be doing this, and people are evil. Yes, those are all facts, and that's just the cruelty of the world. But you can only control which which you can control, and you can control how much you you give people access to your child. That's all I'm gonna say about that. And this is how people responded. She needs to stop the baby's father from posting their child and his every move then. His Did he every move. He is using this baby as a prop. And it's, I don't know, it's a bit disturbing. And I've spoke about this in the past. So it's not just DDG, okay? I've been on record stating this multiple times that I don't agree with parents who plaster their children online, like constantly. It's one thing for you to show them here and there. We get it, you wanna share cute moments, but to just make them into content babies without their consent is crazy. This little baby, he, he didn't ask for this. Well, videos about the baby <laughs> didn't get enough traction and that he was pissed disappointed. She obviously has oh, postpartum depression that still post. and is trying to navigate That's it, crazy. but she needs to be mad at the person who's plastering her baby's face did all I, over did, the internet. Did I not use that exact word? Are we tuned in to the connection? Are we not? Okay, whatever. 24-7. Not the internet. And someone else said, I don't follow them, so I'm doing what she wants us to do, which is leave them alone. A quick scroll shows that the overwhelming replies are playful and innocent. And these two tweets are very telling. The issue is the poppy. And this is the tweet where DDG said, when that 10 minute snooze nap turns into eight hours on accident. He, he giving captions and said, to Not you turning your baby into a meme, Lord. Bro making memes of his own kid. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think it's DDG that's making things harder on Holly and she's blaming the wrong people? Y'all let me know what you think in the comments below. But moving on to the next subject. Okay, you guys. So Janet Jackson has pissed the public off. Oh, now, we know do? Janet Jackson in general is very loved by the public. She's very non-problematic. 
but she made some comments about Kamala Harris. They had people looking at her sideways and had D.L. Hughley going supporter. in on her. So during the interview, the interviewer told Janet, we could be on the verge of voting our first black female president. Janet responded, well, you know what they supposedly said? She's oh, not yeah, black. I That's what that I Janet. heard. That she's Indian. Her father is white. That's what I was told. I mean, I haven't watched the news in a few days. Not a few I was days, told girl. that they discovered her father was white, <laughs> which is false because this is her father right here. Why His would name she is say Donald that? Harris. He's 86 years old. And actually, is these two look a lot alike. But like I said, baby, this put people this in an is, uproar, honestly. especially D.L. Hughley. And this is what he had to say about her. Janet Jackson's interview sounded like a Trump rally. A and mind Trump you, Trump is the one that's saying that Kamala isn't black. So he said, FYI, it's a little ironic to question whether someone is black while you're breathing through the nose of a white woman. Oh, Hashtag that's rude. Now we know Yay. Janet has had surgery on her nose. Not breathing through the nose. This. Kamala Harris looks the way she does because she has a mom from India and a dad from Jamaica. Janet Jackson looks Jamaica? the way she does because she has a plastic surgery. That, I think that was so unnecessary. So initially her Sheesh. rep came out and said that Janet apologized for her comments. She's sorry for what she said. But then Janet came on and said, uh-uh, I did not say that. Oh. I didn't apologize for nothing. Oh. She said she's unavailable for any comments because she's mourning the death of her brother, Tito Jackson. Or oh, Peter yeah, he Tito. did have The fans are not buying it. They were like, okay, okay well, when I mean, you made those just comments, you weren't mourning enough. So why is it now that you're in mourning? Jeez. But I want to know, People what do you guys brutal. think? Do you guys think but, I mean, that's wrong for what she said? Do you think she owes the public an apology? No, girl, don't apologize for shit. Stand in your ignorance. <laughs> Y'all let me know what you think in the comments, but that's all I have for you. I mean, it's not like she said for sure her race. She said, that's what I heard. I'm not sure. Like, she explicitly stated she wasn't sure, but maybe you shouldn't have said anything, <laughs> you know, on such a public platform where it said she was getting interviewed or something. I, I don't know. Uh, maybe you shouldn't have said that. And you're Janet D. Jackson. So maybe you should be a little careful with, you know, how you come across and things that you say. But overall, it's not like she said for sure this woman's race. So I just feel like it's a bit much for people to drag her so heavily. Especially D.L. Hughley. God damn. That was a lie. You breathing through the nose of a white woman like, damn. <laughs> she didn't say it was that wrong with, with the race of the lady. Like, why you bringing up that she didn't got plastic surgery done? And I just feel like that wasn't necessary to go after that woman's looks. Especially him being such a big celebrity himself. That, that was a bit weird. But sure, people, you know, they're going to have their opinions. And they're going to be negative because this is the internet. This is what people do on the internet. They're, they're very negative. <laughs> and if you say anything, people are going to have a reaction to it. And they're, they're, they have an opinion. That's life. So going back to, to Haley <laughs> and this baby and DDG, that, that is life. So if you want to, you know, uh, mitigate that, then you should be careful with what you say and be careful with what you put out there on the Internet. You can't put things out on the Internet and then try to police what people say to what you put out there on the Internet. You, it just don't work like that. That and that's just the reality of life in the world. <laughs> I don't I don't get what these people don't understand about that. But yeah, that that's just my opinion. Y'all let me know what y'all think though. Let me know what other videos you've been watching. I'll see y'all the next one. Bye.